On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, can you believe Jurassic Park 30 years? 30th anniversary is rolling out this year. That is crazy. And today we will celebrate by going through some Jurassic Park 30th anniversary captives. Captives eggs, finally on the table. I've been meaning to get to these so many times, but I can never really find them. But the 30th anniversary eggs, the build and battle dinos, are out and about at Walmart. So I picked up a few basic eggs and a few large large scale eggs. They're looking right back at us. There's eyes on these eggs. They're saying open, find what is inside to celebrate Jurassic Park 30 years. So many dinosaurs to uncover, lots of interesting paleological things inside. Let's begin the hunt for some captives dinosaur Jurassic Park eggs. So I've dropped the egg a few times trying to get to Jurassic World captives. Small dinosaur miniatures encased in dinosaur eggs with maybe a possibility of slime. I believe this is first series with the black egg for Jurassic World Dominion. There was a series two. Trying to remember my egg color. I could never find them on store shelf. Only getting this one from a special toy show. Whereas these Jurassic Park 30th anniversary captives so far have been pretty easy to find over at Walmarts. Off screen though, I had pulled a few captives. Luckily finding blue, a Dimorphodon, and a sparkle purple Dilophosaurus. So the funness with these guys is you search inside your egg for parts of your dinosaur and build them usually in sections of three. You can see blue has a neck and head piece and then a torso and then a tail piece. The Dimorphodon, probably just the head piece I believe. And maybe the same thing for the Dilophosaurus, maybe it's just two pieces at times. And then somewhere on their dinosaur body there is a little captive's medallion like thing. I sometimes call it a captive's coin. It looks like a coin embedded into their body so you know it's a captive's toy. So today we have more captive's eggs to go through, 18 to collect, and this must be series 3 or 4, hard to tell. It's a gold egg, identified by Jurassic World 30th Anniversary. A lot of cool 30th Anniversary stuff will be starting to hit soon. We've got a few figure boxes already accumulated, and a few dinosaurs I think are coming too, so that's a big celebration right now. And also with this series of captives, we've got a surprise build and battle dino egg with 14 surprises inside. It's staring right back at us. I believe there's three main dinos in here, kind of like smashers, I bet. Not sure if we'll get to them all, but we'll try one. So I kind of just want to start going with what's new and easy. Let's try one of these 18 to collect 30th anniversary build and battle dinos. We can discover what color slime we're working with and what dinosaurs are going to be hunted inside. And of course, heed the fine print. I should note before we open, I do not see a discernible code. There could be a code. There's several numbers in here. There was a sticker with numbers I tore off, which I think was just a door bell ring. Here's another code right here, DL33522. Not really sure if any of that is going to help. If you have deciphered these and want to give us a clue in the comments, please do. And this is always a fingernail test right here. I like the gold egg look to these. And so what do we have to crack open? One bag of Jurassic Park labeled something. I feel maybe dinosaur in there. And one bag, oh slime. Oh good, I love it when the slime is contained. Slime is fun, but it kind of gets overrated. Uh, sometimes just too messy to work with. So it's separated, it makes it more fun. What do we got for our first dinosaur? Oh, I see a tail. And I think we have found walking trees. Huh? This has got to be a Brachiosaurus. Anything with a bio card is my favorite. Brachiosaurus, killer rating, five dinosaur footprints, intelligence, four eyes. Are those eyes? Height, 41 feet, 12.5 meters, weight, 124,000 pounds, or 56,000 kilograms. I thought maybe it would be a lenticular on a front, but it is a kind of somewhat carded sticker. Is it a sticker? I don't believe it's a sticker. I think it's just a print on Cintra plastic. Okay, let's build our brachio. There's a body, and now we just have to figure out which way the head goes. So like in this case, a three-piece build. The neck bone's connected to the... Shoulder bone, the shoulder bone's connected to the tailbone. That's the song of the dinosaur. Well, there is our brachio, kind of always looking 
off to this side, looking off to the left. So for miniatures, these have pretty good detail, and I would say almost a little more detail than what Mattel gives you with their line of miniatures. I guess it's a case-by-case -case basis, maybe. And with the buildable parts, you get a little bit of articulation depending on how much you go. A little bit too much might look odd. But these certainly have a really cool, realistic look and are fun to collect. Do we have a little coin on it? We do. There's a little coin medallion thingy to indicate it is a captive's breed. And just for fun, I do am very curious at what kind of color slime we're going to get with this series of Jurassic Park. Is it going to be a gold slime? Oh, it's like an amber, of course. Oh, that was a great noise. That almost sounded like a velociraptor. So we've got a very, a very viscous and glowy amber slime. That is a really cool one, actually. I'm quite impressed with this one. So you can encase your dinosaur in slime if you want to. And I love these packs. This means you can kind of keep your slime encased, ready to use when you're ready and not just out of the egg on accident. So there it is. That's a good consistency. A little bit wet, not too runny though. Sometimes we run into slime that is so runny it just falls apart. And if you're careful, you can keep it inside your captive's eggs for a little while. I think I had some blue slime with one of the first series there uh, contained in an egg for a good summer. Let's try one more mini egg before we go on to the large. I'm kind of laughing at this one. Look how the uh, head of the Rex got a little smooshed on the wrapper there. Some of them must get heat smooshed or something when they make these. So this is DL33522. Was the other one a 521? I can't remember now. If that is a code or anything to uh, decipher with, I'll just keep reading stuff like that. Who knows? I don't know if this is accurate or what. Killing fingernails. Sometimes you just gotta go the Muldoon way. Clever girl. <laughs> just watch your fingers. 18 to collect, so this one should be new. The odds of hitting two Brachios in a row, pretty hard. And drum roll, drum roll. A Tyrannosaurus Rex, no way. How unbelievably cool the Rex from Jurassic Park. Look at there, let's build her. We've got three segments to build. She's very realistic looking, very much like what you see in the original Jurassic Park in paint. A little bit unbalanced, but I think we got her. That's awesome to pull a T-Rex on our second egg. Definitely one I'd like to see in the collection. I only picked up about six eggs, so I wasn't so sure about my odds of finding anything. That is so cool. The markings on her very much like what you would see from Jurassic Park. We've got a nice shiny. This coin even more pronounced than what we saw with the Brachio. Looking good. Looking very good. Oh, she's cute. Or should I say menacing? Menacing, of course. As for her bio card images, may seem closer than they appear. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex Terror. And what do we have to compare with the Brachio? So the Rex's killer rating, that just must be 10 feet. I don't know how many feet that is. Let's count, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 feet. Brachio is only 5. Brachio must kill by just accidentally smushing park workers. Like, oh, stepped on another park worker. 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 Uh, intelligence even higher than the Brachio at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brachio had four and uh, 17 feet in height, a lot shorter, obviously. 18,000, 18.5 uh, thousand pounds, 8,400 kilograms. So kind of fun, these little bio cards, and I like how they're they're uh, on a center plastic so that they won't melt in your slime. Oh, and let's take a look at the collection guide of this series and see what else is possible. So, ooh, wow, a rare. Baby Velociraptor Metallic, a Velociraptor in an egg, a golden egg, there you go. That's always impossible to find, right? I'm not sure the odds, but that is out there. And then here are the rest. Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which we found. Uh, the Paralophosophus, huh? the Parasaurolophus, the Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, Gallimimus, and of course, a regular baby Velociraptor, non-gold. 
And I forget this is also part of a game. So all the commons here are three points and the rare is a six point. And basically you take your cards, they give you the game rules over here, but you take your cards and you go up against a, a friend or a foe and you battle to see who has the higher point count on your card by calling it out sort of, sort of like that. And uh, then there's some points here on the back that help you decipher who won that round. So kind of an extra little thing. I'm just more on about collecting the cool minifigures. Let's just do one more egg, and then we'll get to this 30th surprise egg. Now that I know that there's a golden Velociraptor baby egg in the mix, I just have to know, right? Might be easier from the bottom, it even says pull. Okay, what are we gonna find? Got our slime bag, we'll save for later. Nicely contained. Now I always have some amber slime ready to go. And inside our pack, oh, knocking over dinosaurs. I think it's the Gallimimus. Gallimimus, very popular in the first movie, lots of cool scenes. There we have our card. So killer rating four, that seems high to me. I would think the killer rating would just be one, but I suppose you could get uh, trampled by or stampeded by a, a stampede of Gallimimus size. Uh, intelligence, a little more intelligence than I would have thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think I see there. And 9.9 .9 feet in height, three meters, uh, 1,000 pounds, 450 kilograms on our Gallimimus. And there they are in their herd. Uh, racing with a Gallimimus. I love this old-school card art too. It even feels like it was lifted from the Jurassic Park era. And to build our Gallimimus, just a tailpiece, just a tail, with the coin on the tailpiece. That T-Rex back there is so eyeing her. He so wants to eat her. Almost looks like these forearms would rotate, but they don't. Another very highly detailed figure, not really scaled to one another, of course. Uh, the T-Rex is definitely really shorty compared to this Gallimimus right now, uh, but that's a really fun figure. And don't forget, uh, you can kind of mix and match with these too. So what can we mix and match? Uh, tail with a T-Rex tail. All the ball joints should be matching pretty close, I believe. <laughs> so there's our Gallimimus with a huge T-Rex tail. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hey, give me my tail back. Okay, so Muldoon has brought on in the giant Jurassic Park 30th anniversary surprise build and battle dinos, captives, egg, supersized dino inside with dino eye looking right back at us, lenticular style, kind of hard to get it to blink. I don't think it really blinks, it just, oh yeah, it kind of does. It's like 3D looking in. Lots of things going on, there's revealing parts, popping and locking together like we did, battling like we did more fantastic fine print, uh, supersized dino, stickers, collection guide, uh, compounds, always compounds, uh, and a collector card. So should be pretty interesting. Let's see what we got. There's our pull tab. It says pull, but it never does. That was a lot of shredding. I was like a velociraptor just sh 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 shredding it to pieces. Great captive's egg. This might be a good storage storage container. Ready? What do we got? Lots of stuff. We may have just lucked out and got some InGen slime. I mean, a Spinosaurus Mega Mayhem may have picked out a Spinosaurus in this first egg. That's awesome. We'll find out. And then several other surprises in here. Those three compound stickers. Interesting. Let's get the sticker sheet out of the way first. It's a little clumsier. Lots of Jurassic Park items on here. Nice nighttime image of Grant petting a Brachio. Brachio eating a tree. Cool Jurassic Park. Let's life finds a way. 30 years. T-Rex skull. Nice little classic Jurassic Park uh, logo there. Lots of fun. And I believe we will discover our Spinosaurus in each one of these compounds. We've got prehistoric sand, the engine slime. I really like that one. This blue slime, very similar to, I believe, what we saw with the first series of captives. Some amber jello, amber gel with the mosquito. Impressive foil card art with the Spinosaurus. So a little more deluxe. You can place this in your Pokemon books. Spinosaurus Mega Mayhem. And this will give us a little chart of its strengths. Is that 10 to go against the T-Rex? It's kind of hard to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine footprints, interesting. I thought the Spino was stronger. 
uh, intelligence of six, I think. 11.4 in height, weight 22,000 pounds. Bigger, larger sized card than the uh, eggs, by the way. Very nice card too. Let's put it safely by Muldoon. I kinda wanna check out this prehistoric sand first. It looks really cool in the container, doesn't it? It looks like cork board or something, like a cork. But I'm sure it's just maybe that moldable sand. This is usually the most fun for dinosaur, I think, because it kind of gives you like a dig to go through. Is there even a piece in here? Well, there's something in there, I feel it. I feel it. Uh, let's get this over here. So there's nothing in this part of the sand. And probably the head. Yep, it's the head. So the body's probably in that giant engine box back there. So we have found a Spinosaurus indeed. Kind of funny, if this is Jurassic Park 30th, uh, they must be then kind of celebrating all of the franchise and not just the first movie, because we all know Spinosaurus appeared in Jurassic Park 3. And this, is, this sand has really cluttered up its mouth. It's like really in there. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like get a, um, oh, I had my treasure X tool just nearby. I'm going to have to use the screwdriver instead though because I don't know what happened. It was right next to me, I saw it, I swear. This is exactly how, how archeologists do it. All right, there's our Spinosaurus head. Obviously much larger than a typical captive's. This is usually almost the size of a captive's in itself. Pretty well detailed. That looks cool. All right, unfortunately, the sand, I wish they had a little cap for the sand to keep it consistent. Um, Cause that was really cool sand. Some of the better I have seen. It was, it was thicker in a way. Thicker in that the sand particles were larger and the compound wasn't as pronounced. There's our blue slime, very similar to what we saw. I believe in the first captives. What do we got for this stuff? Okay. Well, good consistency. They captives do their slime well. I'm gonna go right off and say that early. Uh, this stuff is not too runny, and it's got a metallic shine to it. And if we could just get our uh, dinosaur out, we can just get our. Oh, that is a beautiful looking Spinosaurus. You can tell they put a little more detail in their paint with this series, which makes it stand out. Wow, that's impressive. That's really impressive. What? Look at that. No articulation on those legs or anything. We're just gonna pop in a tail and that head we just found. And there's our compound. It is a metallic blue, very pretty blue. I like this blue. So there you go. I wonder what would happen if you mixed it with, say, the amber. It would probably start going brown. And again, unfortunately, you have to find a, a some somewhere to keep that slime active. So let's add our head onto the Spinosaurus here. Nice thick ball joint. Oops. There we go. Everything's always looking off to the side. That's cool. That's a really cool scale toy to complete. So the tail is in amber, the amber gel. This is not food. This is not edible. I, yeah, I would not want to try that. I mean, sometimes I do, but it's so old, it's got to be rancid. That's kind of neat in itself. It just slides out. Look at that. It's it's kind of kind of slimy. It's like a jello or a slime. The tail has sunk to the bottom, so we should be able to just pull the tail out like so. There we go. That's cool. That's really fun. And I've got most of my amber intact. I wonder how I can save this. This is the type the type of stuff I save in a drawer and five years later I find it and it is shrunk. It is evaporated into a husk and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? All right, let's put this tail on. Sometimes a little extra compound between the ball joints helps seal them together. Oh, her head fell off. There we go. There is our captive's Spinosaurus. That's impressive. Really quite impressed again by the extra detail of paint they placed on the stripe down her back, the stripe on the crest of her spine, looking fantastic. A little green eye there, open mouth. Blah. One of her front feet softly on the table too to kind of give her that extra balance. I like that. 
just a lot of fun with this one. Very, very nice. And obviously scaled much larger than a typical captive's. Here she is right next to the T-Rex with the <laughs> Gallimimus tail. Gonna need to work on that a little bit. I don't really count up 14 surprises though. Where, where does the 14 come in? We've got three compounds and three pieces of dinosaur, so that's six. Seven with the card, eight with the guide. Don't tell me we're counting individual stickers. Nine with the stickers. I got nine surprises, 10 at most. So I'm not really sure where that comes in. If you wanna, if you kinda figured that out, help me out there. Let's go classic real quick with the Dominion's Captives egg. I had one leftover available. It has been sitting quietly on a shelf these last few months trying to find more Captives. Just waiting for that day I would open more. So I kinda just held on it. This is Dominion, so you'll have Dominion themed dinosaurs. We've gotta build your uh, Pyroraptor there. Giganotosaurus could be in here. We have found blue. And I believe the slime was very similar to that slime back there. Biosyn slime. Yummy. I'm just going to keep it locked away. It's so much easier to keep clean. And. Whoa, a piece went to fly. Oh, it's another blue. What are the odds? What? So there is our second blue. Build a blue. That's pretty funny. Although this one's different. This one has her head open, her mouth open. So pretty cool. We actually found something unique and different. Did I get her tail in right? Right upside down. Okay, got her tail. And that's right, this series had discs with the game card included. I still have misplaced the discs to the other three dinosaurs. Oh dear, so I won't be able to play the game. 500 pounds, 5.7 feet, killer rating, possibly 10 feet there. Intelligence, probably 10, 8, 9, 10, yep. So they use discs with these. Oh, okay, it all makes sense now. This, we've just opened blue, and this was beta. Hard to tell when beta is the same size as blue, but there is blue and beta. Blue with the open mouth, and for some reason I'm not getting her joints to lock in very tightly. And this was definitely the Captive's Dominion Edition. Can't remember if this was two or three in series. There's our metallic rare. Purple Dilophosaurus we found though, that was pretty fun. The Dimorphodon that we found, and what is the one we did find one other and it has run off. I think we had found, yeah, we had found one of the Atrociraptors here. I think this red one. I gotta find it. It has run off into the collection bin somewhere. So we did find an Atrociraptor, pretty sure on that. So this also gives you more battles. So that was the classic, kind of fun. I reunited blue with beta. Pretty neat, I didn't expect that today. And of course, mixing and matching options available. I'm gonna have to look at this one a little later, see if I can soften those ball joints to squish on in together. We've got a few more eggs though, a few more goldens. What is inside here? 30 years of Jurassic Park. I still today remember the theater I saw Jurassic Park in, the line we waited in. We had to like sit outside in the lobby in groups or something like that to get in and got to see it on opening night. I read the book within like a week before the movie came out, just so I was one of those nerds. And there you go. Slime in a bag. It's rare, it says rare. Oh no, what do we got, what do we got? I'm so interested. <gasps> it's the Velociraptor in an egg, but not in gold. Oh, that's what I did. I saw the word rare through the guide in the plastic, not on the actual card, as the actual card here, baby velociraptor. Even the baby velociraptor has a four on the killer rating, so watch out. Intelligence, even the intelligence is pretty high out of the egg. Uh, three feet, 55 pounds. There's an image of babies. If cute could kill, life finds a way. Image there of their eggs by a tree. Love these cards, and so how do we get, how do we get her into the egg? There, there she is kind of stumped and squished up, painted kind of a dull amber, or a dull a salmon, I should say, not amber. I think we have to pop this out, I hope. I hope I didn't just bust the egg to get her inside. There we go. 
We got her locked away with a little uh, coin there. And she kind of bounces around inside. I don't know, I, I think maybe you don't need to pull that. I think I might have just unsealed glue. So next time, if you get one, just squish it in first. Don't try to pop the egg out. But it's not ruined in any way, it's, it's cool. Okay, we're doing quite well. Let's pull this engine slime out of the way. I believe I have two more of these, two more eggs. What am I gonna do with all this surplus amber? Okay, what do we got? Gallimimus, so another Gallimimai. I'll just continue on then. And a fun fact, after the horrific incidences at Jurassic Park, once John Arnold's arm was stitched back on, he kept two small miniature Gallimimuses at home for pets. He loved his Gallimimuses. And good to see you back on your feet, Mr. Arnold. Let's try this one. Although, if there were anyone to troop build, Gallimimus would be the way, right? So, I'm almost hoping this fourth, fifth, sixth egg is a Gallimimus. Got our slime. Lots of eggs everywhere. You can kind of see what you got without opening this pack most of the time. See, I don't know what this is. It is... Another T-Rex! I pulled a lot of T-Rexes today. I wonder if this one's going to stand better than the first one. Now I can have one T-Rex regular and one with a Gallimimus tail. Oh, this one stands better. My first one was a little tippy. Well, okay, take that back. Now this one still stands a little bit better, so sometimes you're gonna get a little bit of variation in the standability of your dinosaur. So a couple T-Rexes, I can uh, do a little Jurassic Park 2 action. Now, did I open all the basic eggs? I had six of them. Six. Do I? There's stuff everywhere. What do I got here? I think I got it right. Yes, I, I believe I've opened up six. So there's one of those, two, three, four, five, and a six. I had two Gallimimuses and two T Rexes. So unfortunately, I got, got a little bit of a repeat happy there. But we did find this pretty cool Velociraptor and egg. And I guess there's really only eight to collect right now, even though the egg says 18 to collect. Eight plus one, well, nine. Uh, but more captives coming soon here. More pop and lock dinosaurs coming soon, so they must be releasing this in a couple waves for all 18. Well, let's try to do the impossible. I have a couple more of these. It would be great to see another option. Great containers again, I give it that. We've got... Another Spinosaurus! Well, as cool as that Spino was, maybe we can have two running around. Or maybe I can finally get it to a giveaway or something. I don't know, one of these days I gotta do a giveaway again. Uh, Paul, let's just do one more. Now that we've opened two Spinos, we're just gonna... We're just gonna go all the way. Now I'll be curious what's inside this for the rest of my days, so I gotta, I gotta open it. At least you know right away, once you open this up. All right, things aren't looking good. <laughs> things aren't looking good. No, it's looking good! Tyrannosaurus Rex! I saw the tail, I saw the tail, and this tail looks exactly, almost exactly like what we saw with the Spinosaurus, but it's more, it's more hooked in, so actually it's, it's a little bit different. So yes, and something, something has come undone. Uh-oh, oh no! The engine ooze has escaped. The sticker sheet is damp. It's soggy. The sticker sheet has been uh, corrupted. Yuck. Oh, yuck. These are probably going to go directly into the trash, unfortunately, or off to the side of my table. Engine slime. They did not invest. Look at that. It's escaping. And a prehistoric sand. And our, our guide is soaked. It's soaked with water. But where did the card go? Because the card is printed on, well, I take it back, darn. I kept saying they were printed on a plastic substrate, but this is very soggy. I'm gonna have to put this under a book and let it squeeze out and maybe it'll flatten. But there's our Rex. Killer rating. How many, how many things do we have on this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten footprints, high intelligence, and a great foil card had it not been, uh, spoiled. Okay, so let's build our Rex. Uh, the slime compound has already been compromised. This is great. Going to have to maybe just combine it with the other stuff. Where did it escape? Oh, right here, right at the edge. 
And it's still soupy, that's good. It wasn't completely uh, ruined of its wetness. And our T-Rex body. I wonder what the third one is. There's three dinosaurs here to look for. Maybe a Velociraptor, that would probably be, make the most sense. Okay, so there's our body of our Rex. Also, nicely detailed, painted, sculpted. And our prehistoric sand, my favorite part. One of these days, deep, deep within the Squirrel Stampede archives, I still have a T-Rex dig kit. I would love to go through that. It has just always been bumped. And one of these days, I'm gonna dig that Rex out and find whatever is in there. This stuff is so good. It is a perfect consistency. It's, it might be pretty close to what you see with kinetic sand, some of the others, but I don't know, it feels a little thicker. Hardest part though is getting it out of the teeth. It's like really jammed in there. Although this Rex has her mouth closed. So in this case, a little bit easier than the Spinosaurus. I've still got engine slime on my fingers too. Sometimes just tapping it back in, pressing it, releasing it, and it goes back pretty well. Blue slime everywhere. Okay, looking good. That's a fun one. A little bit in there still. I need to get a toothbrush out. Okay, so there. Lock in our head and the tail in the amber gel. Ew, it's all covered with engine slime. This stuff was also pretty fun. I'll give it that. Definitely cool. And get our tail out of that. Yeah. Put that into a uh, chest somewhere. And we've done it. We've discovered our Tyrannosaurus Rex inside the captive's giant egg. And there she is standing, standing really well. High detail with these. They have a unique displayability with this series. They're more displayable statuettes in a way, something to build a prehistoric scene with. They're quite interesting to hunt and build for. The larger T-Rex here also pretty much to be in the same position as our smaller T-Rex that we had just looked at earlier, so they're just kind of a scale sized up. But of course, with higher scale, you get higher detail. Oh, and there's our guide to what you could possibly also find. We found the T-Rex Spinosaurus. There's also a Triceratops. That's actually more Jurassic Park specific than the Spinosaurus. So there's also a supersized Triceratops out there for the captives' eggs. And there you go with Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Captives. I say we did pretty well for blind eggs. You never know what you're going to get. We found about four to five, no, four captives for Jurassic Park. So with 18 available, I may just go back and find a few more of the basic eggs, see if I can find a few more classic Jurassic Park dinosaurs. And of course, those large eggs the Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex found. I think I'll stop there because getting that trike would probably be pretty high odds, but fun to collect the basic eggs, good price point, lots of fun uh, discovering, rediscovering our favorite dinos from Jurassic Park. If you like today's video, please give us a squake, squirrel eye, squamit what you found in your captive's eggs. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Oh, stepped on another park worker.